test, test, test. This is a day that the Lord hath made. We shall rejoice and be exceedingly glad in it. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. How many are thankful to be alive this morning? Come on, don't play with me. How many is happy to be alive this morning? I'm, I'm just not convinced. Let me ask this one more time. How many is just happy to be alive this morning? Hallelujah. 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 We thank God for just being able to open up another worship experience. I know we have a lot that's going on within our community. How many know that the death angel is rolling? Hallelujah. Come on. Let me ask that again. How many know that the death angel is rolling? Hallelujah. And I want to say to those that are going through bereavement right now, that God is still in control. He still knows all about you. And he still cares. The Bible teaches us, look to the hills. I can't hear nobody in here. The Bible says, look to the hills. Not to your boo, not to your baby, not to your uncle, not to your... The Bible says look to the hills. Not to your best friend, not to your prayer partner, but look to the hills. From with all of your help comes from. Is there anybody in the building this morning that needs some help from God this morning? Is there anybody in the building this morning that needs something that only God can supply? Is there anybody in the building that needs God to do a healing? Is there anybody in the building that know you serve an awesome God? Is there anybody in the building that know that God is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above anything that you can say or do. If you believe that God is able, come on and put your hands together and help me worship him. If you believe that God is able, come on and put your hands together and help me lift up the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on and every head is bowed, every eye is closed. Hallelujah. The spirit of the living God is here. 
Hallelujah. The spirit of the living God is in this place. Hallelujah. And because the spirit of the living God is in this place, this is the atmosphere that you're able to get what you need. I know it took everything you had to get here this morning. I know some of you think the devil has been busy. But I want you to forget about all of that right now. And help me work, welcome the Holy Spirit in this place. If you don't mind, can you lift your hands all over the building as we get ready to talk to the master this morning. As we get ready to talk to the miracle worker. Only those hands that are lifted are the ones that believe that God is able to do exceedingly and abundantly. If your hands are raised, come on and rock with me. If your hands are down, don't worry about it. Don't worry about the people that are sitting next to you or standing next to you. Because they don't know what you know. What the Lord has done for you. Hallelujah. All hands are lifted. Every head is bowed. Every eye is closed. We come to you this morning, Father, in the name of Jesus. We come with bowed down heads and we come with heavy hearts this morning. We come realizing and recognizing that you are God and that you're God all by yourself. We come with bowed down heads, but we come with thankful mouths because if it had not been for you on our side, we would not be waking up this morning. And for that, we simply say thank you. We thank you, God, for another day. We thank you for another moment. We thank you for the activities of our limbs. We thank you for giving us a right mind. We thank you, God, for just this opportunity to come before your presence this morning and just to say thank you. God, we have so much to be thankful for. God, we've been through so much this week alone. And we say thank you for this very moment to forget about all that we went through this past week. To get to this very moment with our hands lifted just to say thank you. You've been that good to us all, God. And for that we say thank you. God, we're praying right now for the bereavement family. We lift up the Turner family right now. In the name of Jesus. God, we lift up the Mosley family right now in the name of Jesus. God, you know what those families are going through right now. And so right now, God, I pray even at this very moment that you wrap your loving arms around those families now. Let them know, God, that you are still there. And because you are still there, that means that you are still in control. And so we lift up those families now, God, knowing that they're hurting, knowing that they're dismayed. But you said in your word that if we trust in your word, you will supply all of our needs. And so, God, we pray for comfort. We pray for peace. We pray for understanding. We pray for you, God, in the name of Jesus, to have your way in that family's life. We pray for every believer now that's standing in your presence today, God. You know what they're standing in the need of. And so right now, God, we just petition you on behalf of your people. Rain down your blessings, God. Rain down your healing. Rain down breakthrough right now in the name of Jesus. Before we go further, God, we pray that if there's anything in us that should not be, we pray that you remove it right now in the name of Jesus. We don't want anything to hinder us from worshiping and praising you on today, God, because you're that type of God that deserves our best praise. You're that type of God that deserves our best worship. And so we lift up every issue. We lift up every burden to you now, God. We ask right now that you begin to turn some things around even before we end this prayer. That you begin to heal right now in the name of Jesus. That you begin to deliver right now in the name of Jesus. You begin to lift up heavy hearts right now in the name of Jesus. We pray right now 
if there's anything that's been omitted, God, wherever I did not say, God, you know. And we thank you. We bless you. We magnify you. In this place, we thank you. We begin to shout thank you. Because you're that type of God. Just somebody just shout thank you. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Hallelujah in this place. We'll be careful to give you all of the praise, to give you all of the glory. This is my prayer in Jesus' name. Now, if you believe that God is getting ready to turn some things around, come on and lift up your voices. Come on and put your hands together and act like you know that God is able. Come on, don't pity pat him. Don't play with it. This is not the time to worry about who's sitting next to you. Come on and give him his praise. Come on and give it to him now. take you back just a little bit.
Glory. Bless your name today, Lord. We won't forget what you've done for us. Woo! All the ways you made for us. All the doors you opened for us. All the doors you closed to hide us and keep us and protect us. We was too foolish not to know. Hallelujah. But you saw ahead, oh God. And we say thank you today. All the doors we thought should have been open, but you didn't let them come open. And we tell you thank you, and we come to praise you. Hallelujah. Glory bless your name today. Hallelujah. Glory bless your name today. Yes, oh God. Glory, you should know this one. Yes, Lord. Sing it, praise him.
Amen. It's now tithes and offering time. Just a quick reminder, this is a benevolence basket. This for those in need. Just don't forget those in need. One day it might be you. Everybody, please rise. And now in the directions of the usher. Father, Son, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. You got that right. Clap your hands and water your seed this morning. Amen. Let me water mine. Amen. Today is a good day. Amen. It's Sunday. Hallelujah. Amen. Another chance to praise and worship our God. Amen. Come on and put your hands together for that. Amen. Hallelujah. I knew today was going to be a good day when I saw Sister Channing. Amen. Walk in the building. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You were in my prayers last week. I was just thinking about you. Amen. God is truly good. Amen. Amen. At this time, we want to acknowledge any first-timers, if it's your first time here at New Jerusalem Five-Fold Ministries. Amen. You don't have to say anything. You can just stand and wave your hand. Amen. If you just want to wave your hand, that's cool, too. Amen. Any first-timers here? First-timers at the city of Pico. Oh, we got one back there. Amen. Thank you, brother, for attending today. Amen. Hallelujah. Give it up for our visitors. Amen. Amen. It takes a lot to get here on Sunday morning, amen. The devil tries me every Sunday <laughs> when I'm trying to get to church, amen. God is truly good, amen, to our visitors on today, amen. Don't make this your last time, amen, amen. Hallelujah, don't make today your last time, amen. You are welcome, amen, on behalf of our pastor, Pastor Catherine Minor Walker and the New Jerusalem Church family, we welcome you to New Jerusalem. Amen. Clap it up one more time for our visitors. Amen. Thank you, God. Amen. Just a few announcements this morning, and then we're moving out of the way for the word. Amen. 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 Just want to announce. Amen. Well, first of all, last week was what? It was Mother's Day. Did y'all enjoy Superwoman? Amen. Amen. She'll be back the same time next year. No. <laughs> Amen. Superwoman is tired. Amen. <laughs> Amen. But we just want to say that we're also going to sign up for our Father's Day choir. We're asking all women that are interested, amen, to see 
Minister Veronica's team, if you would just stand and turn around to the audience. Amen. See this lovely young lady. Amen. And sign up. Amen. For the women's choir. Have you ever dreamed of singing up here on stage? <laughs> Come on and sign up. We'd love to see your beautiful faces on Father's Day. Amen. Next Sunday, just to let you know, we are honoring all of our graduates for this physical year. We have three college students that have graduated, amen, and one high school graduate this year. So a total of four. Give it up. Amen. That's right. Clap it up. Hallelujah. Amen. You thought high school was hard, amen. College is harder. Amen. Amen. But I know if ever and Lana can do it. No. <laughs> Just joking, kids. Amen. Amen. Again, we're going to be honoring our graduates here at New Jerusalem Fivefold Ministries. Amen. Get some inspirational music together for next Sunday. Amen. DJ Butterfly is going to be DJing on the ones and twos. Amen. Shout out to DJ Butterfly back there in the sound booth. <laughs> She'll be DJing, amen, that morning. So, so come a little bit early because you know how it gets when we have special days, amen. But next Sunday, don't forget, graduates, invite your family and friends, amen. Also, letting you know that we are having a plate sale after church, amen. Plates are $15. They had all kind of stuff back there, banana pudding, chocolate chest pies. I mean, let's talk about the real food. Let me see. No. <laughs> Pulled pork chicken i don't know what type grilled no, somebody said chicken grilled chicken um coleslaw macaroni and cheese potato salad rolls yes we're excited so make sure not to go to burger king or mcdonald's you can feast right here at new jerusalem fivefold ministries <laughs> and just one more announcement also, going back to the graduates, if I have not contacted you and you are a graduate of college or high school, please contact me or get with me after service if you are a high school graduate or a college graduate. Also, our summer jam sessions for our youth are coming up. Now that the numbers are a little slight down, amen, we're going to be having, going back into our summer jam session starting in June. We'll have sign-ups to enroll your children and also age category starting next week. So make sure, amen, that you sign your children up for the summer youth program here at NJ5. Amen. This concludes our announcements. Amen. As Pastor Walker comes, amen, we are definitely praying Amen. For the Mosley family this morning, the Myree family, amen. Hallelujah, who buried the grandmother on yesterday. Amen. Just remember to keep the Mosley family, amen. LaShonda's here. Raise your hand, LaShonda. Amen. Keep that young lady in your prayers, amen. I see you pushing to get here. Amen. Amen. Pray for our bereaved families as a whole, amen, this morning. Amen. Are you guys ready for a word? Amen. Just some of you. Autumn, are you ready for a word? <laughs> Gracie, somebody, are y'all ready for a word this morning? <laughs> Let me put it like this. Do you need a word this morning? Amen. Something life-changing this morning. Hallelujah. Amen. Come on and stand to your feet for this woman of God. Amen. She needs no introduction. She's going to come in her own way this morning. Hallelujah. Good to see you. Amen. Thank you, God. Amen. Come on, give it up for our very own pastor, Pastor Catherine Mina Walker, as she comes. Amen. Somebody say amen for the word of God. Amen. You may be seated. Amen. Amen. We won't be before you long. We have a afternoon service upstairs. Amen. And you're, you're welcome to join, amen. That's going to be at 2 o'clock. Those of you that want to join, amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I'll be speaking a brief word up there, amen. Praise God, amen. Hallelujah. Amen. want to thank everybody, amen, especially, amen, Minister Ruby, amen, and Elder Kirby, amen, for yesterday traveling to Cadiz, Kentucky with the Myrie family. Amen. Praise God. Come on and put your hands together and promise that you're going to pray for that family. Amen. Amen. We want to thank Elder Marin, Elder Mike. Amen. And 
amen, uh, Evangelist Vicey, Evangelist Brenda, amen, they're the reason taking care of business here why I can do what I do, amen, praise God, even David was still here, but David came on there, amen, I praise God for him, amen, they're the reason I can do what I can do, they were taking care of business in Clarksville, amen, while I was in Katie's, amen, so I thank all of you, amen, and thank you, Minister Ruby, amen, for traveling with me, amen, amen, and amen, excuse me, and amen, uh, our minister of music, our very own uh, Veronica Stem, and amen, and uh, Brother Vernon Stem, amen. They came in support also, amen. I don't want to forget about them, amen. Hallelujah. We appreciate that, amen. Hallelujah. And we're praying for the Mosley family and the loss of Brother Dale, and that's her uncle, amen. Praise God. A very dear man, amen. Sweet man, amen. Loved him. Amen. We praise God. It's good to have one of my former students here today. Amen. Brother David Morris is here. Hold your hand up. Amen. Just throw your hand up, David. That's David right there. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So he's among family. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We welcome all of you today to the house of God. Amen. And there's a word today. If you would turn in your Bible, King James Version, if you don't have that, Amen. Please uh, turn to Psalms. Amen. The book of Psalms, the first book of Psalms, Psalms 1. Amen. 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 But a hard one. <laughs> Amen. And it says this. Amen. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. Amen. Nor standeth in the way of sinners nor sitteth in the seat of the congregation, of the scornful, excuse me. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law does he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers and waters, amen, and bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, but whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind driveth away. Therefore, the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of righteousness. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. You may be seated in the presence of God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm excited about this word. I just took a few notes. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. This is my notes right here. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I just do it because I can. I just like to write. Amen. Praise God. I don't need the notes so much. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I figure since I'm 65, I better have some. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Because I don't want to miss out on anything that God is saying to the body of Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I want a special prayer for uh, Ever Walker. Amen. You guys keep her in your prayers. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to talk today about less mess or bless. Somebody say it with me. Less mess or bless. Which one are you? I only heard a few. Amen. When people ask me how I'm doing, I'll say blessed by the best, I must confess. That's what I always say. Somebody say amen. I have no need to complain. Amen. Because God, you know the song, God has been good to me. Because my good days outweigh my bad days. Amen. Why are you going to complain? A a amen. When you start to complain, just look around. There's somebody worse off than you are. Is there a witness in the house? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you less than? Amen. Amen. Are you less than? Amen. Hallelujah. Less. Let's deal with less. Amen. You know why? Amen. Amen. We settle for less. Amen. Because we're looking at other people. We're, we're measuring ourselves up to other people. Amen. We're watching other people. And because I, it reminds me of the math equation. It's because, amen, that they are greater than we think that we're less than. 
Am I right about it? And that's why you have less Christians in the body of Christ. Am I preaching good already? Amen, amen. Less Christians in the body of Christ because we want to be greater than. Amen. But when you're not living according to God's holy word, amen, praise God, you fall, you, bring, you put yourself in the category of less. And you got to understand God didn't make you for less. He said everything that he made was good. But when he made man, he said that it was very good. Somebody say amen. Tell somebody, say, I'm very good. God made me. Amen. Greater than and less than. Amen. It's an equation. Amen. Let's put that up on the screen. Amen. Greater than, less than. Oh, 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 y'all see the symbol. Greater than. Greater than points to the right, but it looked like it's going left. Somebody say amen. Amen. It looked like it's going left, don't it? Amen. Greater than. Look at less than. Less than is pointing to the left, but it looked like it's headed to the right to me. Amen. Praise God. And that's what Jesus did on Calvary. Amen. Amen. He switched the formula. Amen. Greater than. Amen. Amen. He switched the formula at Calvary. Amen. Because it looked like he was losing, but he was winning. And he became greater than. Can I get a witness here? Amen. You don't have to settle for less because you're greater than. Can I prove it to you? I'm more than a conqueror through him that loved me. I'm more than. Amen. He said more than. How do you get to be more than a conqueror? Oh, my God. That's a powerful word right there. By his, I'm more than. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And that's why we settle because we don't understand the then part. Amen. We don't understand that we're greater. God made you greater than this. You don't have to settle for less. Let me tell you why. Because too much is given, much is required. Why are you settling? Amen. Hallelujah. Why are you settling for less when God wants you to be blessed? Amen. Because you're comparing yourself to the one that you think is greater. Amen. I, I, I know the song with nobody greater, nobody greater than you. Amen. You know the song. You got to understand that ain't no man greater than God. So you can stop, amen, thinking somebody greater than God. There's no man. There's no God likened unto our God. Amen. When you fall in the category of less than, amen, you're trying to measure up to mere man. Amen. But how you're measuring up to God? Somebody say amen. Amen. That's less than. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now I want to talk about, amen, I said, are you less, mess, or blessed? First of all, you got to understand that I am a mess. Anybody a mess all by themselves? You can throw your hands up. Amen. If you don't know it, somebody better tell you. I can prove it to you. Oh, yeah, you, David, you a mess all by yourself. <laughs> Some of us are a hot mess. Amen. Praise God. Let's talk about mess. Now, if you look at these, the only difference is an L and an M. Okay. Amen. Amen. Mess. Amen. Mess. I, I, I want to talk about a mess today. I'm a mess all by myself. I told you I was going to prove it to you. When I choose to do good, evil is all, always present. When I choose to do good, I'm a mess all by myself. I'm trying to do right, but I do wrong. Somebody say amen. Amen. I can prove to you that we are a mess all by ourselves. Amen. And the devil comes in and kind of helps the mess alone. And somebody say amen. Especially on Sunday morning. Oh. <laughs> amen. You know you lay down with Jesus, but you get up with the devil. Woo. Ah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm a mess all by myself. Amen. Because the devil... 
Amen. The devil is ever present, pushing the mess. Amen. Amen. What is mess in the church? What is a messy Christian? Slander. A messy Christian. Can I get a witness here? Ain't nobody talking to me. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. They talk what they know, and they talk that that they don't know. Somebody say amen. And then add a little in between. Can I get a witness here? Y'all know I'm preaching. Come over here. Amen. Hallelujah. That's a mess. You better be careful. You better be careful. Amen. Touch not mine anointed and do my prophets no harm. Everybody that claim to be a prophet, there ain't no prophet. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. When God is talking about that scripture, he is talking about the called out. Somebody say amen. Amen. I know you a Christian. I hate to tell you, baby, but he's talking about the ones that have been called out and have been anointed by God. You better be careful. You better be careful how you talk about the Christian folks because one day God will lock them jaws of yours. Amen. Just like he locked the jaws of the lion, he's going to lock your jaws. Somebody say amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Messy Christian. Amen. Swift to shed innocent blood. They swift to shed bad news. I told you before, I'm like Ann Murray. I sure could have used a little good news today. Amen. What is the good news? Ain't nobody talking about the gospel of Jesus Christ. That's the good news. Amen. Amen. Whatever happened to making merry songs, making songs, hymns in our heart, whatever happened to that? Ain't nobody talking about Jesus no more. But we're talking about everything else that go on. Amen. Hallelujah. I watch folks. And let me tell you why I watch them. I watch folks that put the, what is it, the, the sheriff hotline on their Facebook page. I watch them. You are a dangerous person. You are a dangerous person. You are a dangerous person. In a time you're quick to shed blood of the innocent because guess what? You don't know whether that person is innocent or guilty. Can I tell you something? Everybody that go to jail is not guilty. Can I get a witness here? There have been some innocent people that have gone to jail. Somebody say amen. Always putting something bad up on Facebook. Amen. And somebody said a song, you better get your business off of Facebook. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you need to get your business off of Facebook. Help me, come on. You know the rest of it. You need to get your business off of Facebook. Amen. Praise the Lord. People know the story about your life and everybody else's life. Amen. I watch people that do that. I'm not commenting on it. I don't want to talk about it. You know what I do now? I had to post. I don't even want them to know you on my page. I had to post. Messy. Amen. The word of God is no longer in our mouth, but everybody else's name is in our mouth. Somebody say amen. I remember Alice. Alice was a tough one growing up. She'd get in somebody's face and put her finger, you better keep your name out of my mouth. And that's how she looked. She'd tell you in a minute, you better keep, your na keep my name out of your mouth. And you know when she said that, they knew she meant it. Amen. Praise God. Amen. You got to be careful. Amen. Careful that you don't fall in that messy category. Amen. Praise God. You always got your ear tuned to hear something bad. What, what, what happened? Look. Yeah. What, what happened? What they do? Amen. Amen. Praise God. 
My mama always tell me, you got to be careful about the one that bring the bone and carry the bone. If a dog bring a bone, he'll carry a bone. You got to be careful. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah, Pharisees. And they say it, you see. Oh, you hear me? <laughs> yeah, amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I, I just want to tell y'all, we got to be careful. Make sure that you're not selling, you're not less than. Amen. God declares that you're greater than. Amen. Amen. Make sure that you're not in a mess and that you are not messy. Let me help you with a messy. Amen. Turn your mess into a message that can be used to uplift the name of God, the kingdom of God. Amen. You've heard that said. I can't take credit for that. The first somebody I heard said was T.D. Jakes. You know, everybody act like they so profound that they said that. They didn't say that. Somebody say amen. 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 Praise God. And you got to be careful because you got to be careful because God will find you in a mess. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And I, I love that. We always, and messy people, they're messy because they're always comparing themselves. Here go that comparison again. Less than, amen, and messy always compare themselves to somebody else. Amen. What if somebody said to Joneses? Amen. Amen. Praise God. I told somebody one day, I don't have time to worry about what everybody else is doing. I do good to take care of 1561 Barry Drive, 1331 Crossland Avenue. I do good to take care of that. Amen. Huh? Amen. Praise God. I don't have time. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. People be going through stuff and think I'm supposed to automatically know. Well, God didn't drop that down from heaven in my mind. Somebody say amen. amen. He'll drop something, but he's not going to drop everything on me. Something you're going to have to let me know. Amen. And what I don't know, I don't feel responsible for. I'm sorry. Amen. amen. Praise God. Praise amen. God. Hallelujah. I'm taking care of God's business. Amen. Amen. And I'm not going to try to get in your business. Amen. You want me to know your business? You got to tell me your business. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. I can't pray for you if I don't know. Somebody say amen. I don't know about you, but when I get in trouble, I want somebody to get a prayer through. I'm going to run and tell them, please pray for me. I'm in trouble. Somebody say amen. amen. Hallelujah. Messy. Amen. Now, we've talked about less. We've talked about mess. I want to know today, are you blessed? Ah. The scripture declares, the focal text said, blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. And you know what I found out? That God bless you, my sister. I see you over there sitting down. Amen. Amen. Uh, one thing I found out about this, that church folks will go and get counsel from the ungodly. Amen. You don't go to church. You don't attend the church. You don't talk about God. Why in the world am I going to get counsel from you? There's nothing you can tell me. Sorry. I'm going to be like the movie. Sorry, wrong number. No. Wrong answer. Amen. Praise God. We always quick to get, amen, counsel from the ungodly. Amen. He said, blessed is the man that even not walketh in the counsel of the ungodly. Amen. Nor standeth in the way of sinners. Amen. A lot of times, how do we stand in the way of sinners? By condoning what they do. Amen. Let me tell you something, body of Christ. Right is still right, and wrong is still wrong. And I'm not measuring it on Catherine Walker's scale. I'm measuring it on the Holy Bible scale. That would be Jesus' scale. Amen. Amen. Just like when you join the sororities or the fraternities, they have rules and regulations. Here's our rules and regulations right here. they right here. And amen. And what happens when you don't abide by them? Amen. There needs to be a correction. Somebody say amen. Amen. That's how we stand in the way of so many sinners. They will never be slave, saved as long as you. They will be slaved. They will never. Come here, baby. You. 
Yeah, yeah, you the sinner. <laughs> a sinner, yeah, chief sinners. No, that's Georgia. She ain't here today. We can talk about. <laughs> I want I call her the chief sinner, but she's. I love Georgia. Y'all know that. We joke with each other like that. Amen. As now, hold your hand up. No, hold it down like that. Amen. That's a nice ring you got on. Me. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. As long as you keep slapping her, it be all right, baby. You're condoning what they're doing. Amen. Instead of telling them, look, honey, there's a way that seemeth right unto a man. But the end thereof are the ways of death. Yes. Amen. Yes. You live hard, you're going to die hard. Keep yes. on. Yes. Amen. For you live hard, you're going to die hard. Yes. Amen. Praise God. You can't keep slapping them on the wrist and telling them, baby, it's going to be okay. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. No, beat her. Yes. She will not surely die. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. This is need a beating. Yeah, yeah, beat her. Beat her. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. People would tell me, this is my daughter. Turn around. Somebody may not know that. This is my daughter. I don't know why they would know that. And people would say, well, Scamp is so pretty. She's so cute. I know you don't whoop that pretty child. So let me tell you something. Ain't nobody too pretty, too cute to be. <laughs> Spare the rod, spoil the child. What does the rest of that scripture say? Beat them. They will not surely die. But God gave you a beating place. She don't have one, but I do. <laughs> she don't have one. But when God made me, he showed out. <laughs> I keep, I keep telling the Lord, why you have to keep showing out on me? Stop, please. <laughs> Amen, hallelujah. God gave you a place, a cushion. He ain't saying about going all upside the head, amen, beating them with extension cords and all that stuff. That's y'all. Somebody say amen. Amen. Hallelujah, amen. You even got to calm down when you use that hand. Somebody say amen. I don't mean no harm, especially when they are light skinned. <laughs> you gotta get the ice and everything. <laughs> Somebody say everything. Amen. <laughs> Woo. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let me get back in this word. Don't stand in the way of sinners, but lead them to the congregation of righteousness. Show them how to get there. Somebody say amen. amen. I know children, sometimes you think we're picking on you, but guess what? You may not believe it, but I got a beating too. Old oh, people, if you got a beating, say I did. I did. Hold up your hand. Let them see you. We all got beat by our mamas and daddies. <laughs> amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. Look, look that boy, uh, uh, J.C. done put his foot up too. <laughs> amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. You are not the only one when we tell you that because we want to see you holy and we want to see you righteous. That's why we do that. That's why we correct you and tell you the right thing, the right path to take. Amen. Praise God. We're not picking on you. It's because you love you. Amen. He said those that don't chasten or my granddaddy used to say chastise their children, they don't love them. You don't care what man or woman they turn out to be. Amen. Right. Amen. Praise God. If, they, if, if, you're, if your parents are telling you that everything is okay, amen, amen, you got to be careful of that. Something is wrong with that. Amen. There are some things that they're going to have to correct you on. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Don't stand in the way of sin, but blessed is the man. Amen. You know, everybody say blessed. I said blessed because it sounds eternal. Blessed is the man. Amen. Amen. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law does he meditate day and night. Amen. 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 Praise God. A blessed man, I'm talking mankind, a blessed man meditates in the word day and night. It's going to be like Job. It's going to be better than your necessary food. How many of you know that the word of God is your food? It's your daily bread. Amen. Amen. Peggy and Pam, so good to see you. I love you. Amen. 
Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That's your, that's your necessary food. That's what you need. That's the diet you need to get on. That's the regiment you need to get on. Can I help you? Amen. You want to lose weight? Amen. Amen. Because you know why you have so much weight on you? Because of the sin. Lay aside the weight and the sin that does so easily beset us. And let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Amen. I want to help us today. Amen. Blessed. Amen. His delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law does he meditate day and night. It's not just a Sunday and Wednesday thing for him. Amen. Day and night he meditates on the word of God. Amen. They in that scripture every day. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. If you're not in there like that, you need to get in there like that. Amen. Some of you are old enough in here, amen, are old enough in here to be in the scriptures day and night. Amen. Find you a scripture in the daytime and then find you one at night. Amen. Somebody say amen. You need to get in that word because it's the word of God that's going to last forever. Yeah. Everything as you know it, you're going to forget it. Somebody say amen. I'll be looking at some of my students, and I, I'll know their first name, but for the life of me, I can't think of their last name. That lets you know you're getting older. But you call up that word of God, I don't even have to turn in my Bible half the time. Been in it that long. Amen. And love it still. Better than my necessary food. Amen. You want to lose weight. Amen. That's how you can lose it. And, and he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers and waters that bring it forth his fruit in his season. Amen. He don't feel less than. He's stable. Because he knows that God is able. He's a stable Christian. He's not wishy-washy. Uh, I thought this was right, but I found out it was wrong. You know. You, you ever meet unstable Christians? They act like they don't know the difference between right and wrong anymore. Wrong is still wrong and right is still right. I don't care what they said, amen, evil is good. It's not true. Amen, it is not true, children, older children. It's not true. Evil is not good. Amen, praise God. Amen, you know, the world got a way of, 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 of putting things in your mind. You know, the commercials, when we were growing up, they had jingles that you could remember. Amen, they had little jingles that you could remember. Amen. And, that, and it stayed in, it played on your mind. And that's what the world does. They put little things out there to play on your mind. Amen. You know, that one part in that movie, who can tell me where evil is good? Because what movie was it? Is that right? Okay. Evil is not good. What, the way, amen. Evil is not good. I want you to understand that. Amen. Hallelujah. Understand that. They put that in your mind so that it will work in the minds of somebody. It ain't nothing but the devil. Amen. It's nothing but the devil. We don't know how to separate evil and good. You know why we don't know how to separate? Because we're not in the word. Amen. He says, study to show thyself approved. A workman unto God that needeth not be ashamed. Rightly dividing the word of truth. We don't know what's true and we don't know what's false because we don't get in this word. We don't know the difference between right and wrong. That ain't right. Mm -mm. That don't even say I'm right. And we don't even know because we can't find a scripture that says that it's right or wrong. Amen. Because we don't know anything really about the scriptures. Amen. When you get home, you study Psalms, uh, the book of Psalms, the first book of Psalms. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And he shall be like a tree planted by the river and bringing forth his fruit in his season. Amen. When you're stable, you're going to bring forth fruit. But when you're not stable, amen, when you feel like you're less than and, and you're always messy, amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. You got to understand there's no, no fruit to grow. You're going to be unfruitful. Your fruit will not multiply. Amen. And he said his leaf also shall not wither. When you, feel, when you dwell in less and you dwell in mess, your leaf, amen, you go, you're going to walk around like a withered leaf. Somebody say amen. 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 And, but the, the godly, 
Amen. When you are blessed like that, whatsoever you put your hands to do, it's going to prosper. Amen. Amen. It's going to prosper for you. Amen. Anybody want your hands to prosper? Everything that you touch. Amen. Because your hands are constantly touching. Amen. You're touching lives with your hands. When you lay hands on people, you're touching somebody's life. Amen. 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 Who shall abide in thy table? One tabernacle. The one that have a clean hand and a clean heart. You can't let everybody put their hands on you. You ought to play some music right there, y'all. You can't let everybody put their hands on you. Can I get a witness here? Don't let everybody put their hands on you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I love the scripture that said, lay hands suddenly on no man. And let me tell you something, Christians. All of you deep Christians that think you are anointed and appointed, you got to be careful who you lay hands suddenly on. That devil that less in them, that mess in them, be done jumped off on you. He said lay hands suddenly on no man. You got to be careful. That's why you got to be prayed up. You got to ask of the Lord, do I touch him? Somebody say amen. Amen. Amen, hallelujah. You got to be careful of that. Them devils, them demons will jump off into you. Amen. You be walking around the house. You laid hand on somebody because they cussed all the time. Amen. I know it's cursed, but we say cuss. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, people want you to be politically correct. Amen. Why you say cuss? Amen. Like you ain't never heard it before. Amen. Praise God. You know, people try to be all deep on you. Amen. Because, you know, they got this good education. Amen. Praise God. Uh, the ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind driveth away. Therefore, the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment. Amen. Ungodly don't have a right to judge in the congregation of righteousness. Amen. Nor sinners in the congregation of righteous. Amen. That's why when harvest time comes, there's a separation between the wheat and the tag. And at the end times, there's going to be a separation between the sheep and the goat. And you know what? The Lord brought that to my attention with that greater than, less than. Amen. Amen. When you fall into less than, you can get into greater than. Because you can give your heart to Jesus. Amen. When you fall into less than and the mess than, it behooves you to get it together. Amen. Amen. You need to be in the blessed day. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Because one day, amen, amen, praise God. If you stay in the less than and the mess than, you're going to be on the left with the goats. Somebody say amen. amen. But you stay in the greater than, you're going to be on the right with the sheep. You got to decide today, do you want to be a sheep or a goat? Somebody say amen. Amen. Do anybody know how the goats, how, how they got to be a goat? It was the unruly sheep. They would put them high up on the mountain. That's where the goats are. Amen. So, amen, praise God. They would put them high up on the mountain because they thought they was all of that in a bag of chips. You know, thinking more highly of yourself than you ought to. I tell you, some goats in the body of Christ. We think real high of ourselves. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen. We think however, more highly of ourselves. He said, you ought not think more highly of yourself than you ought. Then he said, these things ought not so to be. He wrote that and it was incorrect English. Ooh, we. <laughs> what are the scholars going to do? What the professors going to do? Jesus, they, that's incorrect English. He said, these things ought not so to be. Amen. amen. Praise God. I just choose the English of God. Somebody say Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Because one day God is going to call for us. We're going to have to decide are we less? Are we in a mess? Are we messy? Or do we want to be blessed? That's all I'm asking y'all. You got to make a choice today. Which of these three are you? What category do you fall in? Amen. Praise the Lord. What category do you fall in? You got to be careful. Amen. Because if the Lord should come in all of his glory, that's what it said when he separated the sheep and the goats. 
the Lord shall come. The Son of Man shall come, it says, in all of his glory. And there's going to be a separation time. Just like at harvest time, the wheat from the tares. God gave me a revelation about the tares. They're the one that tear up the church. Somebody say amen. amen. They want to tear up the church. Amen. The devil can take one person that think they're less than and tear up the whole church. He can take one person full of mist and tear up the whole church. And don't you know others will follow suit? Amen. Because people like to be in gangs. I call them gangs. Clicks. They like to be in cliques. Pastor Clement Long preached a sermon, one of the first sermons he preached. It wasn't his first sermon. He talked about the cliques and the clacks. I never will forget. I like to fell over. I said, this man ain't preaching it here. He talked about the cliques and the clacks. Amen. Praise God. And they're still relevant and prevalent in the body of Christ. They're still here. Amen. They didn't go nowhere. I don't care what church you think you're going to. They in there. Somebody say amen. Amen. I don't care where you're going. They in the church. Still in the church. Amen. They all around you. Amen. That's why you got to hear ye the word of the Lord. That's what God told Ezekiel. He just didn't tell Ezekiel to put them bones together. He said, hear ye the word of the Lord. And that's what Ezekiel relayed to the people. You got to hear the word of the Lord. You got to know the word of the Lord. Let me tell you something. You shall know the truth. And the truth shall make you free. Not set you free. Make you free. If I set you free, I can come back and arrest you again. But if you've been made free, Jesus dropped the charges. Somebody say amen. The charges have been dropped. Amen. The governor done signed the paper. Amen. That ain't no good English either. The governor done signed the paper. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But I want you to know whom the Son of Man has made free is free indeed. Amen. God wants you to be freely blessed today. You want to know what's blocking your blessings? Because you think you're less than and you're in the middle of some mess. You better get out of that mess. You're being blessed right now. How many of you in here think you're being blessed? <laughs> Throw your hands up. Let me see. You really think you're being blessed. I got some news for you. God wants you to be abundantly blessed. We're being blessed, but because we're not in the order of God, the way God would have it, we're not being abundantly blessed. Amen. God want to give you even the more. You know what? As blessed as you are, you're still living beneath your means. Because you won't line up with that word. You get in that word and meditate day and night. And you focus on God and God only. Stop comparing yourself to somebody else. Amen. I never tried to preach like nobody. I never tried to sing like nobody. Only somebody I knew how to be was me. I'm an original. I'm not a copy. Somebody say amen. I'm not no copy. Amen. Praise God. Because I realize that God made me and God don't make no junk. Somebody say amen. amen. Hallelujah. You need to know who you are in Christ and live that blessed life. Some of you are living beneath the blessings that God have for you because you won't fall in the order that God have you fall in. God told you to do some things. You refused to do it. Amen. You with a boyfriend. God told you to leave him years ago. You in like three years deep. God told you to leave him. Somebody say amen. amen. But because of this and because of that, you hanging on to him. Amen. Somebody, somebody is mentally abusing you, but you hanging on to him. Amen. God told you to walk away. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. You're going along with some of your friends just to get along. And God told you to let that go. I'm going to be a friend for you. Amen. Somebody put it in a song. What a friend we have in Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. You're living beneath bless. You're living beneath it. God has told you some things to do. But you got to walk in. You need to get in a hurry today. Amen. You need to get in a hurry today. Amen. 
You need to decide whether you want to be less in a mess or do you want to be blessed. Amen. Amen. God going to bless you when you do what's according to his will. The things that he's told you to do. Amen. And he's even used mankind to tell you the same thing. You need to get out of that mess. He'll use a man. Just like he used a man, you know, when you give your money, give and it shall be given unto you, good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and run it over. Shall men give into your bosom? God used a man to give it to you. He can drop it out of the sky, but he's not going to drop it out of the sky. He's going to use a man to give it to you. That's the same way he's done with you. He's gave you confirmation. He's gave you affirmation. You still won't do it. Everybody say, man, ain't right for you. You better let that alone. That girl ain't right for you. You better let that alone. You still tagging along with him. You got to be careful, saints of God. Mentally abusing you. And can I go there? Yes, physically abusing you. Amen. The only somebody that should put their hands on you is your mother or father, and you don't need another one. Somebody, can I get a witness here? Yeah. Now somebody going to twist that up. So that means my stepfather and my stepmother cannot hit me. You living in their house. You under their rule. Somebody say amen. They have the right to correct you. Yes, sir. Amen. And chasing you. Amen. Praise God. You know, we turn it around for what we want it to mean. Amen. Praise God. I'm just being real with you. Somebody say amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You're here today. Amen. I want you, if you've never been baptized, you never acknowledge God as your personal Savior publicly. You never come down to this front and say, I choose Jesus. Just by coming down, you're saying, I choose Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Marilyn, you're supposed to come too, baby. All right, come up. You too, baby. Amen. If you choose to. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. You've never acknowledged Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior publicly. Amen. I want you to be baptized today. If you believe Jesus died on the cross and that he rose again, you already saved. The only thing you got to do is walk down this aisle. Amen. And who's, who's the lovely secretary today? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Come on over here, Tracy. And Tracy will take your name and put it on that book. Amen. That means you are publicly acknowledging Christ as your Lord and Savior. Quit leaving home without Christ. Amen. Praise God. I remember Eva Mercy, it was Mercy that told me this week. She said, I air went out at school and I started to call you, oh my, to get me. I had no idea that the air was out at school. Things are happening in our schools and the parents don't know about it. Let me tell you something. That's why the children need Jesus. They need to know how to pray for themselves. Because it's something worse than air going out can happen in the school. Children need to know how to pray for themselves. Children, older people, if you're here today, you never acknowledge Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Come on down this aisle. Amen. If you want to be a part of this ministry where we're changing hearts and shaping lives, come on and grow with us. Come on down this aisle and be a part of this ministry. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Those are my two options today. Whosoever will, let them come. Come to Jesus while you still have time. Amen. Hallelujah. While you still have time, will you come and give your life to Christ? Will you come be a part of the kingdom building here? Amen. Hallelujah. Come be a part of that. Amen. Will there be one? Come on down the aisle. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Search Somebody said, couldn't find. Couldn't find nobody. I looked high and low. Amen. Hallelujah. Nobody, nobody greater. Nobody Amen. Hallelujah. Look at God. Thank you, Jesus. You. Amen. Lord, have mercy, the bishop. Search
somebody say amen. Hallelujah. Is there another one? Come on now. Amen. Do like Tyrone did. Walk down with me. Amen. Or you'll be a grown woman or a grown man and walk on down by yourself. Come on. Don't be ashamed. Don't be shy. Amen. We're excited for you accepting Jesus. Mighty. Amen. Amen. Come on, uh, Tracy, what you got? We have David Morris coming to join the church. Hallelujah. Amen. Come on over here. Come on over here and talk to me, David. Amen. Praise God. Is he joining by Christian experience or by letter? Okay, have you been baptized? Amen. That's Christian experience. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. We give glory to God for this young man. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Like I said, this is my former student. Amen. Amen. I, I, I'm praising God because I know his grandfather. Anybody know Bishop Morris? This Bishop Morris' grandson. Amen. Praise God. And let me just tell you this. Amen. He's going to be overjoyed that you came to be a part of ministry. Amen. And I know in saying this, you believe Jesus died on the cross and he rose again. Amen. Yes, Amen. He said, yes, ma'am. Amen. Praise God. You see those two beautiful young ladies right there. Amen. They're going to be part of the new members team. Amen. Amen. That's going to teach you all about our ministry. They're going to set up a time and a place where you can come and learn about the ministry. Amen. 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 Come on, New Jerusalem Fivefold Ministries. Put your hands together for Brother David. Woo! Amen. And right after church, right after this service, I want you guys to congratulate him. Amen. Somebody say amen. We want to thank Tyrone. Tyrone just been on a mission bringing people to church. We thank God for you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He has a passion, amen, for people. Amen. I praise God for him. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Give it up one more time for our brother David. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Amen. That means I'm going to see you every Sunday until you get tired of looking at me. Amen. Even when you get tired of looking at me. Amen. And then you got to look at Scamp and David and Mike. Where David at? Is it, yeah, he back there. All right, he back there, amen. No, I'm joking. Amen, hallelujah. But amen, I praise God for you. Amen. Now, body of Christ, please do not forget about, amen, our plates, amen. And they're $15 each. They got uh, one of the main, uh, the meat item, we got baked chicken, am I correct? Grilled chicken, thank you. Thank you, help me, y'all. Amen, grilled chicken. I haven't cooked that in so long. Grilled chicken, 
Amen. Grilled chicken and pulled pork. Those are the main meat items. You got plenty of desserts. Amen. I think, Melissa, you made, what you make, Melissa? Oh, Jesus. I want a piece of carrot cake. Pass that to the kitchen. Amen. A carrot cake. Amen. Pass that to the kitchen committee. Oh, yeah. I like that. Was that for me or you? Oh, stop. I thought. Amen. That's why I can't get my figure together. Amen. Praise God. I like sweets. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We praise God for the ones that are working so hard in ministry. Amen. Amen. We praise God for you. We love you all. Amen. Thank you. Amen. All of Peggy and Pam, don't, don't leave until I see you. Amen. All the way in the back, sweetheart, right here. Don't leave until I see you. So glad to see you. I love you so much. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Come on, let's bow our heads for the closing prayer. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The closing prayer. Give us a closing prayer. Gracious God, we thank you for the order of this service today. We thank you how you have blessed us, oh Lord God, and given us instruction. Father, as we depart from here, Lord God, let us just keep you remember, keep us in remembrance of you, Lord God. We ask a blessing for each and every one that is here today. We thank you, Lord God, for your word on today. We thank you for this order of service, and we thank you for our great pastor, Pastor Walker. It is in Jesus' name that we give thanks. Amen.